And start. I didn't save when I paused it last time. So I'm going to save. Day X. Now it's day Y. Cool. How? Oh, so John just said, you need to be in my play. And I was like, okay, I'll be your Juliet. And he's like, no, Juliet's a tree. And she ran away crying, which is a little bit of overreaction. But you know what? I don't think she can really help that. Let's check our journal. See what it says. No tournament points still. Why don't people just leave me in my stupid hair alone? What's the big deal? What am I supposed to do about it? There's nothing I can do even if I want to. Jimmy let slip that he sleeps with stuffed animals in his bed at night. I told him about my stuffed rabbit and we had a heart to heart. I never thought someone like... I did? Uh... Oh. I didn't remember that happening, but okay. How awful was that? I shut the door to my dorm room, wanting nothing more than to collapse onto my bed. Hey, what's that? Hey, Hannah. Mai was laying on her bunk bed, upside down, her red hair spilling over the side. She's got a lot of it, too. I'm jealous of her hair. Uh, something glinted in her hands. What are you doing? I'm cutting out little blossoms, see? She held a pink cherry blossom to the ceiling. <laughs> it's so your senpai will notice you. What are you even talking about? You know, senpai always notices the girl when she's outside, surrounded by a shower of cherry blossom petals, the wind blowing in her hair. I actually, my mom, I don't remember if I've told you this story before, but my mom came back with two different kinds of deodorant, and she's like, which one do you want? I'm like, well, what are the smells? And she said, orchid blossom and cherry blossom. And I said, well, then I'll have to go with cherry blossom for anime reasons. So, senpai's gonna notice me any day now, even though I don't have a senpai. Your guy will definitely notice you with these. I love, she, oh, I love all her voice clips. Bingo. Bingo. A flash of anger rippled through me. Why don't you just say, oh yeah, why does she say this? Why is she so mad at her? This is the worst. Why don't you just say them for yourself? Jared will never notice you without them. Helena, how could you say something like that? Oh no. I was so torn up when I read this the first time. I know she's crying. No. I had a good weekend, so I, I have the emotional energy to spend in this game. I turned on my heel and stalked out of the dorm room. It was because of stuff like that that I thought John was trying to... No, it was stupid of me to imagine it could happen in the first place. I stepped out of the front, out to the front of Poppy Hall, the crisp evening air, air wafting against my face and cooling my skin. A faint tinge of smoke threaded its way into my hair, reminding me of days spent cooking with my father. Hmm. How stupid. I headed for the field, my stomach sinking with every step. And look at the clouds move! <clears throat> I shouldn't have snapped at my... None of this was her fault. And she was being so nice to me, and I said that awful thing to her. She was never going to want to be my friend again. I stopped at a tree and leaned against it. The sun was rapidly setting, the night air growing colder and colder. Although I was shivering, I didn't want to go back inside. There was no way I could face my after what happened. And look, it's changing color! This is gorgeous. What a terrible person I was. I sat down and hugged my knees, pressing my head into my arms. Been there, sister. Been there. <clears throat> I stayed that way for a long time, trying not to pay attention to what was going through my head. Oh, look at how pretty the stars are. The wind picked up, roaring past me and whipping my hair against my skin. It was so loud I didn't hear the footsteps until they were right next to me. I looked up. My, I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have snapped at you. I was just upset because I thought John wanted me to be Juliet, but it turns out he wanted me to be a tree. I shouldn't have cared so much about it. I'm really just an awful person. <clears throat> I know that having too many people tell you that things are your fault can make you believe they're actually your fault. So I bet that too many people telling you that you're an awful person or that you, you're not they are bullying you can make you actually believe that you're a terrible person, so I totally get where this is coming from. From her. My let out a peal of laughter. Because <laughs> he wanted her to be a tree. Is that John? He doesn't mean anything by it. But that is something he would do. He's nice, but he can be a little clueless sometimes. She sat next to me and wrapped an arm around my shoulders. Together, we huddled against the, ru the rough bark of an old tree, somewhat sheltered from the wind. You remember what Shane said about my hair? Maya's arm tightened around me. Ah! A 
I've been on edge ever since. I don't know how to face them, even when they're being nice. I'm so afraid they hate me. I'm sorry I'm such a coward. Well, it's okay. We're all cowards sometimes. Maybe we should just approach our problems directly, instead of coming at them from the side with flowers and friendship. You want to join the Normal Boots Club? You, you want to join the Normal Boots Club, don't you? Yes. Well, I want to date Jared. <laughs> Neither of these will happen. Eh. Neither of these will happen if we keep avoiding the stuff that makes us nervous. Yeah. If we want something, we should go get it. We shouldn't. Just because we're used to waiting for things to happen to us doesn't mean that they're always going to if we're just patient enough. Too true. I love her sassy little hand on hip thing. Hana, if you want to join the Normal Boots Club, you have to keep moving forward. Strongly, without fear, without looking back. Right? Yeah. And the same goes for you, Mai. Yeah, it does. She's like, oh, shoot, I have to actually talk to Jared! <laughs> okay, I'm great at giving relationship advice. I never, I've never been in a relationship, but I'm all like, okay, just imagine what you'd say if you're talking to a normal person. Just talk to them, and they'll like you for you, and whatever other stuff. I felt happy. I had a conversation with my friend, and it went really well. I rested my head on my shoulder, thankful that she was taller than my paltry 5'2". She laid, she lay... Oh yeah, I was gonna get the updated version, version of this with fixed typos and stuff. She laid her head on top of my own. I think I'm gonna try harder. Nothing good came of me avoiding my problems and being a coward. I can't keep running away or else eventually I'm going to run out of places to go and then I'll break. If I really want to make a new life at Asago, I have to try. Seriously. <laughs> I'm going to be my best self and be myself. And I'm going to actually try. Who knows? Maybe Shane will warm up to me eventually. Maya pulled me closer into a hug. Yeah. That's a spirit! Now what do you say we get inside? It's freezing. Yes, let's! And thank you, Mai. Mai smiled at me. No, thank you. Let's go. This is so cute. Oh, the game. You know what? This is going to be a short episode because I feel like starting this in the next episode. So, I'll see you later. Pause.